Hey, my name is Madison, and I'm going to be performing trach suctioning. Um, first, I would identify my patient and verify my physician's orders. I would identify my patient by the two patient identifiers. I would verify my patient's allergies, and then I would don my PPE. So I would first put on my gown, and then I would put on my mask, and then I would put on my face shield, and then I would put on or I would wash my hands and then I would put on clean gloves. Okay, after I put on clean gloves, I'm going to open my sterile kit away from me and then take out the sterile gloves and set them to the side. Um, and then Carefully open the bottom of my container and then I would take my sterile solution and cover out the label and whip it into the trash can and then pour it gently into my container. Next, I'm going to Um, put on my sterile gloves I'm going to take off my gloves and then wash my hands Okay, and then I'm going to take my suction catheter and dump this onto my non-dominant hand. And then I'm going to hyperoxygenate um, my patient with my non-dominant hand um, for three to six to three to six breaths, um, and then I'm going to turn on the suction on the wall to the appropriate setting, and then I'm going to remove the oxygen source with my non-dominant hand and then attach the catheter also with my non-dominant hand making sure not to touch this green with my sterile hand okay and once i have attached it i'm going to check the patency in my sterile saline with my suction catheter okay it is patent and now i'm going to um, place my catheter into my trach at least five inches or until the patient coughs and I'm not going to suction on the way down um, but I'm going to apply intermittent suction and swirl it in between my thumb and forefinger um, for no more than 10 seconds. Um, I'm going, I would then use my non-dominant hand to auscultate the patient's lung sounds and assess for any secretions. And I would assess to see whether the patient would need another pass of suctioning. And if the patient indicated that they did need another pass of suctioning, I would then wait one minute um, and then I would do no more than two passes with the same um, catheter. And then I would um, discard of this. And then I would turn off the suction and then replace the oxygen source.
and then I would auscultate my patient's lung sounds and instruct the patient to take deep breaths as I listen. And then I would determine whether the patient needed um, further suctioning. I would then take off my gloves and wash my hands and document the patient's um, tolerance to the procedure, the secretions, and the lung sounds before and after the procedure.